And you're just in time for Richard Moenja Exclusive, the only point of call on matters political and governance analysis here in Kenya and across the region. Today we have a raft of issues to discuss in that particular front, but first things first, allow me to introduce the gentleman who's going to help me unpack the day's conversation. He's none other than Kenya's more sought after political analyst, the celebrated think tank, Haman Bon Manura. How are you doing today, sir? I'm good. You're well? Oh, yes, I thank God. All right. Yes. So many alignments, realignments happening in Kenya's political landscape. And how about we go to the Mount Kenya backyard? Yes. And we begin from this iron lady, Her, Her Excellency Honorable Martha Karuo. The other day, she addressed a press alongside Jeremiah Kioni saying they are chatting a new political plan uh, with which Uru Kenyatta is at the center of it. It's going to give them wisdom around how they should navigate their future political moves. And I want to understand this. How comes you're still seeing this insatiable appetite was shared with the Kenyatas when it comes to putting political strategies in place? Insatiable uh, appetite for? For a session with the Kenyatas, uh, just so to, 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 to inform uh, political decisions in this country. But you can't wish the Kenyatas away. Even in their retirement? Even, even you see in America right now, mm -hmm. the Kennedys are still influential. This guy switches from the Democrat and goes to support Trump and the whole country is on fire. You can't wish certain families away. The Gandhi family in India. They may not be actively involved, but mm -hmm. they, they were there for a long time. But on the face of, of, mm -hmm. of it, does, doesn't this sit bad for politicians like Raila Odinga, Kalonzo Msioka, who are, who are sort of fighting who is closer to the Kenyatas and who is not? That's their problem. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, they will have to. Politics is about finding space. Doesn't make them petty? It, it, could, it depends on how you are doing it. But it's also, I mean, if they are helping uh, create a deity out of a man, then that again is wrong. <laughs> Very well, moving on simply on this conversation, yes. back to Martha Karua, let's circle back a bit. Many believe that she could be exaggerating her abilities out of illusion. And from where you see it, do you think people are ready to subscribe to Martha Karua's hard stance style of politics? You know, there are people in life who are unfortunate. And this kind of people are always there. But sometimes they make it. Where you are the best person, but circumstances conspire to give what is rightfully yours to lesser mortals. To undeserving gods. Yes. Uh -huh. So Mother Karu, of course. Look, mm -hmm. let's, let's flash back to 2008 or thereabouts. Sure. The Grand Coalition Government, having gone through the post-election violence of 2007, 2008, mm -hmm and the national accord that then, that then ushered in a coalition government and created the position of prime minister given to Raila Odinga. And one deputy was to be for PNU under Kibaki. The other deputy was for ODM under Raila Odinga. Raila gives it to Mudavadi. There was a little debate whether it should be Mudavadi or, or Ruto. But basically, to be very honest, Mudavadi had been the deputy captain, as Raila called him the running mate, mm -hmm. the vice president to be. I think we had changed the constitution. We hadn't changed the constitution. So it was rightfully his, mm -hmm. with a minor claim from Ruto, quietly whispers. But the other side of PNU, everybody expected to be Mother Karua. I was very disappointed that it was given to Uru Kenyatta, and I wasn't alone. So you can see I'm saying, politics is a game where people have no respect for abilities, mm -hmm. for integrity, for honor. It's a game of interests. What serves you is what you go for. Mm -hmm. So, Mother Karua has been like that, even under Kibaki. Before that, she, she wasn't quite given her space properly. So then, would you advise her to now probably recalibrate further and stop playing the hard stance kind of politics? Because she comes across as one who, if she firmly believes on something, then you cannot advise her otherwise. I would not advise her. When she tried that in 2017 by supporting Uhuru, she came out looking very bad. Mm -hmm. If she had been a small girl and I got her, I would have kenned her. She looked bad. You know, it's like Manyora people telling me to certain things. You know, I can't do them. I'll come out looking so bad. <laughs> yeah. Exposing your skeleton. Assuming me, Mr. Lani Mahenda Mahay, in my press conference, saying some of these stupid things people say because they have been invited some places and given some, you know. Mm -hmm. But not that I'm a bad man, not that I'm arrogant, or, but it's, it doesn't come out well. So, Mother Karua should not attempt 
to water down her firebrand politics. Mm -hmm. Who knows? She's still young enough. She can get it. I've said here without fear of contradiction that if you wanted a man or a woman mm -hmm. to move this country forward, the initial movement, it can't be anybody other than Mother Karua from all these politicians. The next person could be people like Manyora who can now transform the country in a different way. But I'm talking about the normal transformation, mm -hmm. the normal change, mm -hmm. where this country will be clean, people will follow laws, mm -hmm. there will be development, there will be, the economy will grow, young boys and girls will get jobs, mm -hmm. the education will be vibrant, mm -hmm. our health system will work, mm -hmm. you put their mother Karua. But it I'm, is only Mata Karua who can make nobody, Kenya the Singapore of Africa. Not Singapore, mm -hmm. but a much better country. Singapore and beyond is for dreamers like us to transform this country in a manner <laughs> hither to unimagined. People like you. Yes, and we are not many. Manyora and above. Yeah. Manyora, Joko, but for and Mother Karua, uh -huh. she will be miles ahead of any of these other politicians, mm -hmm. from Jomo Kenyatta mm -hmm. to William Ruto. It makes sense. In between, Raila is there, Kalonzo is there, Mdabad is there, all these fellows. Mm -hmm. She's far ahead of them. Mm -hmm. Because why do I say that? This country is in need of one person in state house just to say one word, seriousness. Let us be serious with what we do. And that's what Kenya is lacking. Kenya is not lacking anything else. Forget about all these things you hear. It is just seriousness. If we choose to be serious mm -hmm. as a country, the potential is huge, is enormous. Mm -hmm. So one man or woman in state house say, from today onwards, Kenya is going to be a place of serious people. Mm -hmm. There will be no room for jokers. There's no room for laziness. And Mother Karua can be that president who will introduce the level of seriousness required to take this country forward. Mm -hmm. Just seriousness. If you don't a politician, you don't want to be a politician. If Mother Karua is a president and the Kenyans will support her, you try impeaching her, you go home, all of you. Kenyans can even burn that house. Once they see there is a president who is working for the people, who is stopping the excesses and the theft and the laziness and all sorts of things that keep this country backward, that president will get 100 plus percent support from Kenyans. And Mother Karua inspires yes. that. He makes me believe, she makes me believe she's the person who, but unfortunately that's not how politics works. Power is grabbed, not taken, not yeah, given. Yeah. So, uh, but you can never know. <laughs> I've said, you know what Shakespeare said? Tell me. Some people are born great. Let me just paraphrase, I may forget. Sure, Some people sure. are born great. Some people are made great mm -hmm. by people and by circumstances. And that. Yet some have power, greatness thrust upon them. And the same Shakespeare talks about there is a wave of tide for every man that brings goods your way. The only difference is, <laughs> will you recognize it is there? And good things have come. Take them. Your, your stars are aligned. So for people like Mother Karua, you can wake up one day and her stars are aligned. Where the whole country is saying, we are tired of this mediocrity in this country. We are tired of impunity. We are tired of these thieves. We can't have children in hundreds of thousands, if not millions, going to school barefoot with jiggers in their toes. We can't. Enough is enough. Mama Tosha. Mama Tosha. You know, that moment can come. It could. It comes for countries, yeah. In our lifetime? What are you talking It has been there in other countries. What, what are you talking about lifetime? This thing can happen tomorrow. I know enough history to know that these things happen. The president this far has promised to herald new <laughs> fortunes and make Kenya that country we all aspire to live in. But then why is he hesitant to tap into the potential of people like Martha Karua? You, because the level of seriousness she brings aboard, nobody can touch her. She'll bring down the house.
Would you then implore the truthful man of God, our Deputy President Gadi Gashagwa, to also harness the potential of Martha Karua to define his future political But bid? you see, now that would be wrong because that can't work because you are now putting Martha Karua on the usual plane on trajectory of things mm -hmm. where her problem has been to get the numbers. Now you ask her to get them for you. <laughs> that would be foolish. She can't play second fiddle to anyone. No, even that. <laughs> even getting the numbers for you. You can get them for her. If Gashagwa said, Mama we Tosha. in the mountain, to uh -huh. ya kutosha. The watch us sit, we take a back seat. Mama Chukwa. She'll be the president. Not even Governor Anwa Iguru could scuttle her ambitions. Anwa Anwa Iguru ni mboga gani. Anwa Iguru is not in the league of Mother Karua. Mother Wangari Karua is in a different league. She's an crowned princess. Just, she's there, but... The, the politics of numbers mm -hmm. doesn't favor her, of mobilization doesn't favor her. But we all know mm -hmm. she will be the best president we have not had. It was Raila, but now it is Mada Karua. <laughs> president Mada Wangari Karua. If, that, if she landed in State House, <laughs> please, Chukwa Ndege, Toroka Inchi, if you can't live without stealing. In a record six months' time, Kamarini Stadium will be done under her watch. What will she? She doesn't have to do stadium. There will be much more serious work to do than talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but I'm sure uh -huh. people will go to jail. That one I'm sure of. Not just Lenol Kulal? No, no, no. People. And I'm sure things will work in this country. Because she will bring to state out the seriousness that we need to put this country on a trajectory of progress. Uh -huh. All these people from Jomo Kenyatta to William Ruto through Mikey Baki Moy, they have been good people. Mm -hmm. And they are doing a fantastic job. I've been telling people. Even if you think Moi was bad, but other countries were collapsing and ours didn't collapse. Mm -hmm. If you think Kenyatta was bad, it's during Kenyatta's period that most African countries were just going one after the other under military coups. Did ours go? No, not yet. Small attempt, 1971. But we remained. So those presidents have done their bit. Ruto is doing his bit. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking about a transformation. The bigger picture. Um, the journey to ensure that in a couple of years, 10 or so, we don't have slums in this country. These things we call slums. Can you do it? I'm saying that even Omoja will not be there if I'm the president. I cannot allow people to live in Omoja. I've told you the worst slum will be Buruburu. That will now be the slum of this country. We can afford that as a country? In fact, tomorrow, not, not day after tomorrow. Tomorrow we can afford what? We have everything. With all yeah. the support of IMF and World Bank. We don't want... And, and the first time I became president, I tell IMF, Kama kuna kituenyu muliwacha hapa kujeni mchukwe. Hakuna mbaya kwa hindi. Come and take that. What is yours? Please, come. Na ile, if it is money we can't pay now, tuandikishane sikuile mutakuja kuchukua. In one year, come and take all your money. Kenya can pay all her loans in under one year. What is... 10 trillion shillings. What is our wealth underground here? Donor support, donor relations. Which donor? No, we want partnerships. We want to open our marine coastline for okay. marine exploitation in partnership with people who have the expertise and the capital. Na mama anaweza leta hiyo hapa. Yes. We want to go to Lake Victoria and see what does Lake Victoria offer. We want to look at Naivasha, Lake Naivasha and say all people who are polluting Lake Naivasha in the name of flower farms, you have six months to close and go home. Hakuna flower, for example. We want to clean this lake. It becomes clean. We have lake tourism and fishing. Yes. Gikomba market, pia. Yote hakuna. Kenyans will operate under decent conditions. Hakuna mutumba kuingia Kenya hii. Our women cannot wear dead people's pants and bras. And then we still say we are human beings. That's the Kenya I can imagine. And I want Kenyans to imagine. And it's possible. And that's the same Kenyan Mother Karua can deliver Mother here. Mother Karua can set us on the trajectory. Uh -huh. Make us make the first initial steps mm -hmm. that are necessary by simply making Kenyans know mm -hmm. everything is possible. Mm -hmm. But beginning with being seriousness, mm -hmm. serious and getting rid of jokers mm -hmm. and con men and buccaneers. In the name of political leaders. Get them out of the way. Mm -hmm. Jokers. Charlatans. Like that man of Singapore said. 
Singapore can only grow if you get rid of charlatans. Buccaneers. <laughs> people who do business with the lives of people. Merchants. Merchants of death. Get rid of them. Make Singapore clean. Mm -hmm. And for that to happen, Lee Kuan Yew tells us, meritocracy number one. For every job like I've always sung here, mm -hmm. give it to the best man or woman. And that's it. And Mother Karua will ensure laws are followed. Mm -hmm. Another weak part of the chain mm -hmm. is the disregard for laws and, 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 and regulations and systems. Mm -hmm. You put up traffic lights at a cost of millions, then there are policemen stopping cars. It makes sense. Systems must work, and Mata Karua would make systems work. Yeah. Lastly, for Mama, Honorable Mata Karua, would you then advise her to up her artillery, that is probably going further and not just have uh, left nuns like Jeremiah Kioni around her. There's need for her to redefine her artillery. Would you advise her? To make I know she's in a board? difficult situation. Mm -hmm. It's not easy. She's in a very difficult situation. Mm -hmm. She comes from a populous community, mm -hmm. but that community doesn't seem to want to give her much chance. Yet they know she's the best. So for people like Mother Karua, mm -hmm. it is the dynamics mm -hmm. of history, the dynamics of change, the dynamics of politics that provide, that brings sometimes, occasionally, mm -hmm. leadership to them. It's not quite what they can do as individuals. What is it Mother Karua has not done? But her own effort as an individual cannot deliver her the presidency. It can't. With but a combination of factors and dynamics, mm -hmm. like that Gen Z thing when, when it was at the peak, mm -hmm. this, this, these young people could just look for the kind of Kenyan who can read them, who feels them, who can actualize their dream. Mm -hmm. And if you look around, People are looking at Tom Tata, people are looking at Matiangi, Mother Karua from very far. But if the choice was to be made by people who love this country, that crown will go to Mother Karua. Asubuina Mapema. There you have it. That point by the firebrand himself, Haman Bon Manyora, takes us to the wrap of today's conversation, discussing our raft of issues in the world of politics and governance. Keep this conversation going beyond here. Matmonja Richard on X and on TikTok. Let's engage.